Our primary research goal at uh, the Institute of Behavioral Science is to conduct cutting-edge research into the major psychiatric disorders, for instance, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression, including postpartum depression, addiction. And we try to bring the new tools of neuroscience to bear to understand how these disorders come about and how best to treat them. Schizophrenia is an illness that is very debilitating. It affects about 1% of the population, and it can be very impairing, very life-changing. So I was interested in that illness because I thought that there's a lot that we can do if we are able to improve the outcomes of people living with illness. If we can identify a measure for any given individual that tells us whether they are likely to respond to a medication or if they are likely to relapse if they stop a medication, that's going to help us choose the right treatment for that person. So I'm interested in developing those biomarkers using neuroimaging tools. I think mentoring is one of the most important things that we do because it's really we're trying to develop the next generation of researchers. And so I think we have to serve as role models for young people. We have to be able to help them deal with the challenges and obstacles that they face. Research is difficult. It's very competitive. It's, it's hard to get NIH funding. And I think we've been very fortunate to have received a lot of support from NIH for many of our projects and also what are known as K Awards, which are awards for young investigators who are beginning to develop their research careers. We have a very good track record for obtaining those awards as well. Hillside and the IBS, they have a very unique array of ingredients that are critical to the success. They have First, a strong clinical operation that can support clinical research. And also it has the mentorship. I felt very supported and I had very good advice that I got from my mentors. IBS has been an extremely supportive environment for me as an early career scientist launching into independence because of the access to the resources that we have, the mentorship, and also the community that we serve. So we are based in Queens, which is the most diverse county in the entire country, which then means that not only are we directly working with a diverse range of scientists and clinicians, we're also working to serve the most diverse population in this country. We've really grown over the last five to 10 years. Our portfolio of research grants to the NIH has almost doubled. So we have a lot more opportunity and funding to do the kind of research we'd like to do. We've really moved a lot more into brain imaging and we're using MRI to try and understand how the antipsychotic drugs that we use to treat schizophrenia work. And we've made some real advances in that area. We're also working in the area of postpartum depression using MRI imaging. My research has focused on the pathophysiology of perinatal depression and developing novel therapeutics for women suffering from perinatal depression. We conduct brain neuroimaging uh, research in women and human subjects. We are looking at both the functional connectivity, so at the brain at rest and when the brain is doing different tasks, but also its structural connectivity as well. My neuroimaging research really relies on multimodal neuroimaging techniques and the people who work with me, you know, to make that possible and successful. So we have a large team of investigators. We have about 15 principal investigators here at the Institute, uh, all working in different domains uh, of this kind of research. And we all work very well together. It's a relatively small uh, institute about 100 employees overall, and we're all located at the Zucker Hillside Hospital here on the campus of Northwell Health. Right behind me is the hospital where most of our research participants are located, and we can get access to those participants and enroll them in our studies, which is a real great advantage for clinical research, because clinical research depends on the word, the clinic, and the clinic is right here. Here at Northwell Health, we deliver over 30,000 babies a year. And so we're able to engage so many of our women in our perinatal depression research, including our industry-supported clinical trials. It's with patients that together we're going to understand what causes perinatal depression, and it's together working with patients that we're going to find the cures and the treatments for perinatal depression and other psychiatric illnesses in women. The idea of bringing together clinical trials with more modern technology is really the center of what we do, using the real tools of neuroscience like genetics and MRI imaging and clinical trials together to enhance maybe the efficacy of the trial or to understand which patients are really going to respond best to some individual treatments, so-called personalized medicine. 
Uh, and we're able to do that here very nicely because we have the new tools of neuroscience on the one side, and then we have the patients on the other side from, from the hospital. And then the funding from the NIH and private foundations really helps us to do this kind of work. I love my job. This is my passion. This is what I was meant to do. And so finding that and being able to do that, being empowered to do that here, being supported to do that here is everything.